Hey everyone, Tony George, Hump Day Update, DocSports.com. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, I got a new lid. Went with the Mossy Oak, Kansas City Chiefs, new hat, new lid for the playoff run, beginning with Jacksonville this weekend. And this weekend, ladies and gentlemen, we have our eight-unit playoff game of the year. Uh, I'm all in on one game, Max Beth, this weekend. Faux show. So uh, we'll uh, give you an update, all NFL picks. We cached both our cards last week. We'll be out on Thursday at DocSports.com at 3 Central. So be sure and uh, get over there and get ready to win big this weekend. In the NFL playoffs, we're going to be talking NBA here on the free play. Um, also, for those of you that don't follow me on Twitter or Facebook, I did a uh, impromptu uh 20-minute video uh, about uh, my outlook for 2023, a little bit on the health update because there have been some nasty rumors floating around that were totally untrue, so we address that. All things Tony George, Tony George Sports at DocSports.com on a uh, quick little, uh, just very personal, raw and candid uh, podcast, so check it out. If you don't follow me, it's archived over on Twitter. Just go to my profile, scroll down, you'll see it. Um, at T George Sports, and if you don't do Twitter, uh, Facebook, just type in Tony George Sports, and you'll find a group page there, and uh, you can see it there. And that's a good way, you know. A lot of you follow me on Twitter. I appreciate the follows. We appreciate the follows here. Thumbs up, subscribe, all those good things for Doc's channel. But it's hard. I don't follow everybody back that follows me, so you can't DM me unless I follow you. Um, and there are some guys that have been with me forever for 20 plus years. Guy by the name of Mike Swank, been around, follow me forever. So I, yeah, I follow him back on Twitter. He communicate with me. We've been friends, you know, kind of just a business relationship, but nonetheless, over at Facebook, you can leave comments there and communicate, you know, good, bad, or indifferent, you know, won't hear from you if we're eight. No, but if we go, you know, one and eight, I'll definitely hear from you. So that's a good place to just leave comments over there on Facebook. That being said, uh, let's get to the business at hand and then we'll tell you what's going on over at the website today. Um, we're talking about Miami at the New Orleans Pelicans here and Miami is on the road in this game tonight in the NBA and uh, they bring in uh, the 30th ranked offense and the second ranked defense. Interesting dichotomy. Um, for them, especially with Oladipo and Butler, Lowry, you know, Tyler Hero, you got all these guys on there, but yet they just, they only put up, a, you know, around 108 points a game. Uh, and uh, their defense is allowing 108 a game, which is second in the NBA. But when you're scoring as much as you're allowing, that's what happens. And you end up with a basically 500 record, which they have. Now, New Orleans, on the other hand, is in a free fall here simply because uh, they have injury issues. And uh, with Ingram and Williamson out, they're not the same team. McCollum can't carry them um, at all here. And uh, if you take a look at New Orleans just through their last 10 games, their wins, which have only been four in their last 10 have all been against, been against crappy teams. Detroit, Washington without Bradley Beal, Houston, you know, um, they beat Philadelphia, um, and I believe Embiid was out in that game too. But that was clear back before, uh, the, that was back in December. But they just have not played well here. Now, the line in this game, Miami coming off a loss at Atlanta, but they beat Milwaukee in back-to-back -back games before that. They beat a very dangerous Oklahoma City team. Um, they lost to Brooklyn by one when they had Durant. Uh, they won at Phoenix. Um, you know, they've just beaten some. They won at Utah. Um, just talking some of their last games here, but I, I like Miami in this game tonight. Now, the way I would play this is I would completely stay away from the two and a half or three, and I would go with the money line minus 145, take the points out of it. Maybe they win by two. Maybe they win by one. 
But if it's three or less and it's under 100 and minus 150 or less, nine times out of 10, unless I think there's a complete mismatch in just a real weak line, where I think they're going to win by eight or 10 points, they, I'll, I'll lay the three. But very hard to win by eight or 10 points in the NBA. It really is. You see a lot of three or four point ball games. A half a point to a one point line move when the spread is between two and four in the NBA is a significant move. And remember, we're betting into numbers. We're not betting into games. So for that reason, because I don't trust Miami's offense, uh, they're inconsistent. Um, I would play the money line in this game tonight. Miami Heat over the uh, New Orleans Pelicans. And it's a road game. Now, let's get to the website real quick. Obviously, uh, doubleheader in college basketball today. Small conference gym plus Big 12 action off a one on one split last night. Um, minus a unit. So I'm looking for a sweep tonight. I have an NBA play now. I've lost my last couple in the NBA. If I hadn't have done that, I'm telling you right now, this would be a six to seven unit play tonight. It's a first half line pick, and it's going to be an absolute blowout. I would have liked to pull the trigger harder, um, but I'm a big money management guy, and it's not prudent off back-to-back bosses -back say, come on, let's, let's unload everything. Let's get four units back, live to fight another day. I'm starting to hone in on some of these first half lines. You know, I usually do about halfway through the first half of the season. Haven't seen a lot of opportunity. I see a lot of opportunity tonight with this pick. Three unit NHL play and all football will be out tomorrow. NFL playoffs, including a rare one and only eight unit playoff game of the year. Going this upcoming weekend, looking forward to it. Baby needs a new coat. Mama, mama needs something. So, you know, we're going to go ahead and pull the trigger and win some money this weekend in the NFL. I have no doubt. Looking forward to it. Thanks for tuning in.